of the cup come those soccer stalwarts, Jock Shaw and Willie Laird, as dark-shirted Rangers and East Fife battle it out in the 65th Scottish Cup Final. 120,000 pack Hamden Park to see the Rangers, attacking the goal to your left, make all the running. The soccer critics had been calling the Ibrox boys an old team, considering their forwards to be too slow. If they ever wear, they're making up for it now. With only 40 seconds gone, Rutherford Centre is headed home by Willie Findlay. One up in record time, Rangers go all out to clinch the cup, with Willie Thornton number nine, the brain, in that fast-moving forward line. This time, the Fifers' defence holds firm. The early shock hasn't upset the men from Methil. Henry Morris, number nine, and Winger Black, number seven, link up in a fine passing duet to put East Fife back on the attack. The ball's up in the Rangers' goal mouth, and the two Browns go for it together. It looks dangerous, but Bobby Brown gets there first to clear. Into the second half, and though Rangers look good, the cup isn't on the Ibrox shelf yet. If George Young, here in a spellbinding back display, has anything to do with it, it won't be long now. Young is at his brilliant best as he sends the Ibrox attack away again, but hold it! Duncanson is fouled near the danger zone. It's a free kick on the edge of the area. Sammy Cox takes the kick, and young Gordon Easton brings off the save of the day. A third-team goalkeeper, he's been playing like a veteran. It would have taken three goalies to keep out that rampant Rangers attack. Here they are again, with Willie Thornton putting them two up. And there's still more to come. Perfect in defence, slick moving in attack, Rangers are now in unstoppable mood. Eddie Rutherford, number seven, leads the way goalwards. One of the Ibrox veterans, he has played a sparkling game. It's his centre to Findlay that gives Willie Thornton goal number three. <laughs> the cup is home again. Back with Skipper Shaw and his gallant band of Rangers. Back at Ibrox for the 13th time. It wasn't to be the Fifer's day. But to be beaten by a team like Rangers is no disgrace. But Jock Shaw and his men are once again Scotland's Team of the Year.